Amanda? I want to try something. What? How was that? It was nice. What about this? That was nice too. And what about this? Nice. Don't you want to invite me in? Why? I want to try something else. What? I think we have something here, right? Uh huh. Like a real connection, right? I guess so. I mean, there's something about people who knew you when you were young, before you knew what face you were going to wear in the world, or before you decided what you wanted to do. I. They're the only ones who really get you. Sure. You knew that I wasn't gonna leave you alone in the apple orchard. You knew that I'd come back, right? Yeah. How did you know that? You like boys that play hard to get. At least you did in high school. Exactly! I don't like to feel forced. I like to make up my own decisions. I like to, I like to make up my own mind. That's not what I said. I said that you like to chase people. Whatever, the point is, you get me. You really get me. More than anyone ever has, and more than anyone ever will. Okay. So what do you think? I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time following this conversation. I'm a little stoned right now. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> In fact, that is exactly what I love about you. You're stoned right now. I get stoned. You get stoned. I get stoned. You yeah. get stoned and you're chill and you're sweet and you love me exactly as I am and you have a government job. So the hours are very reasonable so you can pick our son up from soccer and you can drop our daughter off at ballet. Who? And I bet you're a half decent cook, aren't you? And you'll never have money, but I don't need money. Uh-uh, I just need love and companionship and a chance to be artistically fulfilled. You can't have it all. You can have it all. You just can't have it all and, and be rich. But I don't need to be rich. You are so much smarter than I ever thought you would be. So our kids will be smart and they can get themselves scholarships. Can I come in? Hold up. Okay, what's what's Hold the hell up. Okay, I'm holding. Shut the okay. fuck down. Okay, Billy, I'm <sighs> done. You stopped? I've stopped. I just need a minute to process some information. Are you pregnant? From last night? I don't think so. We used a condom, right? Yes. Okay. Good, that, that's what I thought. <laughs> okay. So why are you here? Billy! <laughs> that's me! I want to try a relationship. With you. <laughs> what sort of relationship? A permanent one? A permanent one. Yeah. <laughs> I should say that I'm flattered. I mean, I'm very, very flattered. I just don't think I'm in a place in my life where I can be very generous with anybody else right now. What? But I really, really like you. And I'm really glad that we got the chance to reestablish contact. What? And I'd like us to remain friends. What if about? that's okay. What about last night? Last night was amazing. What about all the things that we said to each other? It was intense. You told me that all women were forced to speak the language of their oppressors. No, I said that most dominant Western languages are constructed on a system of hierarchical binaries that imply the innate inferiority of women. <laughs> You can speak whatever you want. You don't have to speak at all. I thought you loved me. Did I say that? What? Why did you sleep with me? You asked me to. Bullshit. You brought me up there to, to bed me. Bed? Fuck. Well, yeah. Why? Are you kidding? You left me with blue balls my entire adolescence. I've been waiting to fuck you for 10 years. That's the longest I've ever wanted anything. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest of my life. That's what I was thinking about today when I decided to get high. Come on. You really wanna move back to New Hampshire and bear the fruit of my loins? Amanda Blue, you're gonna be huge. <laughs>